Welcome to Sydney. My name is Monty Chan and I'm here to present my submission for the Smarter Life Challenge. Sit back, relax and enjoy this video. The star of the show is the PSOC 4 and its stunt doubles. Unlike a normal microcontroller, the PSOC products from Cypress Semiconductor contain programmable digital and analog blocks to enable high integration and low part counts. As the name suggests, it is a complete programmable system on chip. For the challenge, I focus upon the development of the low cost PSOC 4. I thought I'd demonstrate the capabilities of the PSOC 4 by minimizing the number of external components to create a project that most naysayers deem impossible. That is, to drive a display of more than 1024WS2812B LED lights with a single microcontroller. My prototype drives 3072 of such devices. I've accomplished this feat using just one type of external component, SPY RAM. The PSOC 4 only contains 4K of RAM. This is insufficient to be used as a frame buffer. This is why SPY RAM has been added. The SPY RAM contains the encoded data for the WS2812Bs. The SPY RAMs are accessible by the ARM processor using the SPY interface. Six RAMs are used. They are all individually addressable by the processor. A bus speed of 8 MHz is used for fast access. As not to waste valuable processor time, a bit train device has been created using the UDBs. This bit train is used to pump out the bits to the LED interface. The bit train clock rate is driven at 2.4 MHz. This is to ensure that the encoded data in the SPY RAMs is output to the LEDs at the correct rate. The actual bit rate for the WS2812B is 800 kHz. It is encoded in three bits in the SPY RAM, basically breaking it down to a start bit, a data bit and a stop bit. This means when the SPY RAM clock is driven at 2.4 MHz, we get an effective bit rate of 800 kilohertz. The bit train is a processor triggered pulsar. The processor populates a control register which in turn triggers a set amount of pulses to be sent to the SPY RAM, thus causing its data contents to be clocked out. To enable the PSOC to display to 3000 LEDs simultaneously, three simultaneous channels are pumped out by the bit train. To enable frame processing during a screen refresh, the SPY RAM has been divided into two separate banks one bank can be displayed whilst the processor has access to the other bank. When the bit train has completed its output, an interrupt is generated, thus enabling an ISR to load the next frame. The hardware design removes any need for inline assembly language. This means programs can be written in pure C or C++. Doing this makes coding much, much easier and faster. Even without inline assembly code, we can accomplish frame rates of 25 to 30 frames a second. This is sufficient for live video. To expedite protocol conversion, I have written a function that takes a byte and converts it to the WS2812B protocol. The WS2812B LEDs are normally arranged in a zigzag pattern. This is to ensure that the traces between each device is short. To simplify graphics programming, a transformation function has been provided, allowing the programmer to reference the graphics array as a standard XY grid. With an XY grid available, the programmer is free to import any type of XY grid graphics function. The original prototype was made using a breadboard. Once working successfully, a PCB was designed and made. The PCB version is enhanced and contains the additional second bank of SPY RAMs. The connection to each LED bank consists of two wires, the signal wire and the corresponding ground wire. Power to the LEDs is supplied separately. For the prototype, I used a laboratory power supply. I make my own prototype PC boards 
for simple projects. Rather than deal with nasty chemicals, I use the milling approach. This entails a schematic capture and PCB layout on a PCB CAD application such as Eagle. A blank PCB is loaded into the milling machine where it is engraved, drilled and routed according to the design. For a neat finish, the boards are then weeded. After a quick scrub and clean, the boards can then be assembled. The PSOC 4 is so versatile I made many projects for the Smarter Life Challenge. Some of these projects had so few external connections they didn't require a circuit board. Others, with many connections, had circuit boards made to make their connectivity much easier. A PSOC project that required no parts is my WS2812B protocol analyzer. With this, I am able to decode the WS2812B protocol and use the data for other purposes. In fact, the protocol analyzer actually fully emulates a WS2812B and can be used in line in a whole string of them. To complete the challenge, I have created some modular array boards. These boards are designed to be connected together in two and three dimensions to create larger arrays or interesting objects. I hope you enjoyed the presentation. I hope you too can have a smarter life with PSOC. Thanks go to Element 14, CADSOFT and Cypress Semiconductor to make this all possible. Goodbye from sunny Sydney, Australia. What is this thing iPod? Where does the plug go?